last part of the grow formula. We started out with a goal, then we looked at reality, then we had options, and now we are at will. Okay, so let's talk about will. So you looked at some options. You figured out where you were, you figured out where you wanted to go, you got a plan to get there, but see, that in and of itself isn't enough. It's great to have a plan. It's great to have a backup plan. It's great to have a backup plan for the backup plan. I'm a big believer in Murphy proofing things. However, if you don't take action, if you don't do anything, then all the plans in the world mean nothing. So you can decide, well, you know, I really, I could do this. That's what we say when we have options, right? I could do this or I could do that. Those would be options. So I could do A or I could do B. That's an option. If you're looking back at the things maybe that you should have done, well, you go, well, I should have done this or I should have done that. Well, the problem is, is we could, could and should all over ourselves, but what we need to do is take action. We have to move forward. You can't stay where you are. See, life doesn't work in a static way. I'm not sure if you noticed, but uh, the last time scientists checked, the world actually rotated. You know, it actually moved on its axis. Uh, it moves through space at about 900 miles an hour. So guess what? Everything around you is moving. So standing still doesn't mean that you're standing still. Ultimately, and I don't mean this to uh, frighten you, but maybe to give you a little uh, you know, psychological kick in the ass, what's happening if you stand still is you're gonna go backwards because the rest of the, move, the, rest of the world is gonna continue to move forward. So if you would like to move forward, if you would like to move toward your goal instead of your goal moving further away from you, you're going to have to take some action. So you have to get from the point of what you could do or what you should do to what you will do. You need to decide what it is that you will absolutely do. And then ultimately that's not even enough. What you need to do is take action because until it's done, it's still an idea. Until it's actually completed and you're standing, you know, as the old saying goes, when there, there's no greater uh, feeling than you know, the warrior who, who lays down on the battlefield exhausted you know, after the day. That's what you want to be. At the, at the end of the day, you know, look at a marketer like Howie Schwartz who thinks of himself as a, you know, as, a, as a warrior. At the end of the day, you want to be lying on the field of battle exhausted because you've given everything that you had to give for that day. Now, I'm not saying I want you to go out and, and work uh, you know, 16 hours a day, 100 hours a week. I did that. I lived that. That's not the way that I live now. I really enjoy the process. I don't enjoy doing you know, uh, you know, 80 to 100 hour weeks. I have put in 24 hour days and sometimes they're, they're very cool and exciting. I don't do them every day. Um, if that's something that turns you on, fantastic. If you're more the type of person who um, is on and off again, that's fine. You're going to have to figure out what works for you. But I can tell you that if you spend all of your time planning and none of your time doing, that your goals are always going to remain goals and dreams and they're never going to be completed and you're not going to get what you want. Simple, you're not going to get what you want if you don't take massive action towards getting it. So that's pretty much the recap. We started out by picking a goal. Hopefully it's a big, hairy, audacious goal. Hopefully it's something that's, that, that gets you emotionally charged up, that's worth chasing after. Then you looked at your reality, you looked at where you are, you looked at the good parts of where you are, you look at the bad parts of where you are. Then you, you checked out your options. These are the things that I'm willing to do. These are the things that I'm one, unwilling to do. Here's the parts of this problem that I'm happy with and ultimately, Here's a plan for me to move forward that not only will get the job done, but that I can enjoy along the way. See, the, the most important time that we all have in our lives is the moment now. There's no real past, there's no real future. It's all a continuing motion of now. And if you're, I'll tell you this, if you're not enjoying yourself now, make the decision to start enjoying yourself. Enjoy the process. If you got a problem, turn it into a challenge and have fun with it. And then finally, when you get to will, when you decide what it is that you will do, I'm gonna challenge you to take some action, to get off your ass, get out of your house, or get on your laptop, or whatever it takes for you to go out and do something that matters for you in your life. So with that, Feel free to go through uh, John Whitmore's formula. It's been very, very beneficial to me. Uh, I use it all the time. I share it as much as I can. If you get the opportunity to go out and pick his book up, um, um, uh, Coaching for Performance, it's fantastic. I will put a link uh, in, the, uh, in, in the podcast. If you go back to the podcast, which is probably where you're watching this from, uh, if you go to the, uh, to the podcast at philhughes.tv, you'll see a link to, to John's book there. Highly recommend that you get it. There's some uh, invaluable material with that. And uh, I think you pretty much got all the tools you need to get going. So instead of uh, watching me talk on a video screen, I think it's time for you to get busy.